what about from an athletic standpoint? What was it like in terms of the stereotypes when, when people would look at you or just kind of look at your family and, and maybe question your ability? Growing up, going to like camps and just just mean like not not looking like a typical football player that college coaches are are kind of like you know passing the eye test. That was that was difficult for me. We we can do it, you know. As I was younger, um, I was almost kind of ashamed of it, you know, just because of. You know, I, I look different than everyone else, and as a kid growing up, you you don't really understand why you look different, why you know why people treat you differently. So you know, it's just it's just you know the negative perception that you that you had growing up. I didn't realize that how much he had to go through, just because he's Asian American, not necessarily fit into that typical football player. He had to go through that and then to become the player, you know, he is today. So that's actually will take um, incredible hard work and uh, determination. Sometimes we always joke about it because uh, Taylor and I are very much alike. My husband always say, I'm very stubborn, you know, so I always say that we're not really stubborn, we're just very determined. Taylor Rapp again! His second of the Honestly, we knew he was an exceptional athlete probably since he started walking. But how do you compare that to being an elite athlete? Once we started seeing him compete against athletes from LA or Florida or Alabama, and you could tell he was right at that level or, or better. So then I think we were pretty confident. He's gonna get buried by Taylor Rapp. He came on a safety blitz right up the middle. His whole sports career was kind of like, he kind of dominated, honestly. I knew that before he got into like team sports. And then once he got into team sports, he just proved it. I would say as soon as I stepped on the football field, um, you know, I, I knew right away, you know, that I was meant to play this game. Some clicked right away and some it was it was something special. Just the the shock of seeing him on at the playing at the level he is playing at now, the thing we've dreamed of like his whole life is pretty special. Oh. Last training session before camp. Let my body rest up a few more days before before we start up training camp. I'm excited, man. I'm excited to get out there with the guys. You know, run around, and play actual football, for sure. In the off season, she helps me out every day. You know, I mean, she, shoot, she even gives me some uh, wide receiver releases sometimes. You know, she's, she's been uh, great to me. You know, she means a lot to me. We've been together since high school, so you know, high school sweethearts going on five years now. <coughs> I mean, I expect it to be a little different. I mean, everyone around me, every all the NFL guys, they're it's not no college anymore. You know, every everyone's special. Everyone's got juice, so. I mean, that just means you got to bring it a little more. This is actually probably one of the most meaningful things. My girlfriend, she made it. Uh, the day of the draft, she brought it over here before we're about to watch the draft. It's just a bunch of pictures and newspapers ever since I was in high school. Here's, here's me raising the, tro the, the MVP trophy after we won the game, freshman year. I haven't really been here uh, since I got drafted. I was kind of out in L.A., but, I mean, when I'm here, I, I definitely look at it quite a bit, you know, just scrolling through it. You know, it just gives you some uh, determination and some uh, drive to push, keep pushing for, uh, for more. There's another picture. Look like a little Asian boy in this one. <laughs> Mia, is, is Mia in there? Mia's the, uh, the little lazy one. She, she doesn't like getting outside that much, but here we go. Come on, let's go. We're going in the backyard. We're just gonna play a little bit. Rap versatile. He's the most reliable tackler in the secondary in this year's draft, and the play speed is better than the time speed. Guys, if he ran in the low four fives oh. or even the high four oh, yeah. fives, he's a first round pick. No doubt. 
feel like you should have been picked up in the first round? I was definitely thinking I was, I was going to get picked up a little earlier than I did. Um, you know, I was I was hoping I could slip into the back end of the first round. Um, you know, whether it was you guys at 31 before you guys traded out, but uh, I was I was pissed off for sure. But when I got that call from LA, like it was everything kind of settled down, and you know, I was you know after I thinking about it, it was you know perfect fit, perfect scenario. So I couldn't I couldn't be any happier. You know, I still got a lot, lot to prove. You know, I haven't even played one snap of NFL football, so you know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to get the season started as we we're talking about, and you know, just working, working towards that goal for sure.